All right, let's give her a big round of applause, his sister, Shannon. Man, I feel bad about going up after that. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Shannon, Ben's little sister, and, well, basically Kelsey's sister, too. I would say little sister, but, I mean, it's a little bit of a height difference. <laughs> and I do not mean sister-in-law, by the way, because that implies that she's just some chick that my brother married that I have to make uncomfortable small talk with at family get-togethers. But no, I mean, Kelsey has become such a part of this family that the whole in-law title isn't only completely unnecessary, it's just plain false. I mean, we even said once that if Ben and Kelsey ever broke up, we would have to kick Ben out of the family so we could still hang out with Kelsey without <laughs> being super awkward. And we were only joking, of course. We're at least that's what Ben thinks. <laughs> but how did this wonderful, beautiful, sweet, lovable, and any other flattering adjectives you can think of person become a total stranger to a new member of our family? Well, it's a pretty funny story. In, our, in their freshman year at Cal Poly, before they even knew each other, Ben and Kelsey both decided to join a research project out in the desert. Kelsey did it to prove that she could be independent, and Ben did it because he knew Kelsey was doing it, and he thought she was pretty. <laughs> and you know, nothing says romance like collecting lizard blood in the middle of nowhere. But apparently it did the trick for them. They started dating, which Ben's going to be mad at me for saying this. He didn't pay for their first date because that's sexist, apparently. <laughs> they started dating and Kelsey was eventually introduced to the family. Of course, the first thing we asked Ben after she left was, Benjamin, are you paying this woman? But no, seriously. <laughs> we fell in love with her right away, and soon, whenever Ben answered his cell phone with the obligatory, Hi, pumpkin! We all learned to make retching noises in the background out of sappy cuteness. I don't know when Kelsey went from being my brother's girlfriend to being my sister. Maybe it was when we bonded in Lake Tahoe our, over our mutual ability to absolutely fail at mini golf. Or maybe it was when we thought we were going to die when Ben decided to test out the electronic stability control in my mom's new car by swerving like a maniac the whole drive home. Or maybe it was during a shopping trip for Vegas where we successfully constructed an outfit made completely of sequins. Because you know, what's a trip to Vegas without a little glamour? Or in this case, way too many sequins. I don't know which of these moments made Kelsey the sister I never had, but probably all of them did. So when Kelsey sent my, picture, uh, sent my phone a picture of a pumpkin that Ben had given her with the words, will you marry me, carved into it, I was thrilled not only because my brother was getting married to an incredible girl, but because my sister was getting married to an incredible guy, too. And I mean that in a totally non-incest way, by the way. <laughs> but that brings us to today, a day of joy for us and a day of sadness for men all over the world, because this is the day Kelsey officially goes off the market. As for the women all over the world, well, it's just another day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ben. <laughs> but in all seriousness, before I go, sit back down at the kids' table, because there's no kids at this wedding with you and these people here. <laughs> I could not think of two people more, su more suited for each other than Ben and Kelsey. I love you both so much, and you're going to have to possibly ask for both individually and together. I wish you all the best. So, to the bride and group. <laughs> 